Hello you fine folks, it's time for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time! And in this episode we are going to begin inside the Great Deku Tree. Oh well, we've already started off fantastically. Taking a free hit to the face there. But still, it's not like I've been playing this game, I've played this game a ton since the year 2000. Nah, nothing like that. But anyways, in this episode, I hope to get try and get at least as far as I can in the Great Deku Tree. Uh, shut up, Navi! God damn it! Please, do you hear the controller being mashed? But anyways, let us get the first bit of fat loot from this dungeon, and it is the map. There we go, it's a map. You can look at it in the menu. There we go. Let's do this! Ugh, here we go. God damn it, Navi, please shut up! Why can't I press B in this? Come on, Nintendo, please! It's not like there's any combat here around here so people could accidentally press B. Have a little faith. Anyways, while the last episode was processing, I decided to play some Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. It was a ton of fun! Uh, probably should have put it on a bit higher difficulty though. I was on 2 star hard. Uh, if I ever do a let's play, it'll probably be 3 star hard. Uh, and that's just put me digging in an enormous hole for myself. Uh, I'm also just gonna say this. I don't give a shit about <laughs> what's going on. What's happening. I'm just gonna play this my way. So, brace yourself for that. Whee. But yeah, I think the issue is the Shadow Dragon is going to have to wait until the capture card arrives. Because the gameplay takes place on the touch screen, but the top screen is all the plot. Which basically means I'm going to be flicking in between the top and bottom screens constantly to make it work. You can tell Nintendo did not want... Uh, I uh, did not want to have uh, the DS on the virtual console because it's it's a, it's a shame that quite a few emulators have a significantly. Why did I just spin all the way around? Well, that was pointless. Uh, there we go. Boom. Ah, oh, this is going to take us a while to get used to. I'm used to mapping it to buttons. <laughs> I wonder if there's controller settings. Well, I'll do it off screen, regardless. Our aim now is to run in and kill everything. You know, the great Deku Tree sure is bigger on the inside than he is on the outside. But then again, it's a video game. Who cares? Right, let's deal with you. View. Did I get it? There we go. Let's get a move on. Now then. This is a good first dungeon. It helps teach you the fundamentals even if you can't be through them. Which I can't remember was the case in the 3DS remake or not. It may very well be. Anyways. Let's go for completionist sake. Let's go get the compass. Uh, oh yeah, I have no Deku Sticks. It's probably a good thing I'm coming in here for Deku Sticks anyways. Uh, boom. Mine. Well, there we go. We got a weapon. They hit hard. Probably going to use them sometimes, unless I forget. Which, to be honest, is pretty likely. God damn it, I can't unnotice how that light briefly clips through Link. I'm not sure whether or not it's the port or, or not. To be honest, I'm pretty sure it's the port, otherwise I would have noticed earlier. Or at least that's how I'm going to explain it to me. Well, let's get a Deku Nut then. 
We're getting all the basic ass items. To be honest, the Deku Dutta is one of the better items in the game. I like using them a lot. There we go, and lit up. You know, I probably should have gone to the Lost Woods and got the Deku Stick upgrade, which lets me allow allows me to hold more of them. Uh, I'll do it on screen, but I'll do that. I guess it's a bit late. Ah, oh, shit. That was not my finest hour. To avoid Mr. Sculpture there. Well. To be honest, me sucking at Zelda is not new. Hey! I'm gonna say I did that for style points and hope everyone ignores me. Whee! Oh, we got the crotch shot. Brilliant job, Link. Uh, what's in this treasure chest? I actually forgot. Oh, well, I guess it's appropriate. Away we go. Done with this room. This is a weird uh, dungeon because it's the only one which uh, that I can think of off the top of my head which actually requires backtracking in order to get all of the items, that, uh, all the sculpture is in. Maybe there's a wall which you need to bomb, and you need the boomerang, you know, just in case. Please don't screw up the jump, Max. Oh, damn it! Uh, as if Navi wasn't enough. Mm. I just wanted to let you know you messed up a jump. Thank you very much, Navi. I don't need that. God damn it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna blame the controller here. Most, nah, I'm just kidding. Although, uh, uh I am legitimately never used the, uh, never played this game on the Wii U version before, so that's cool. Also, uh, the reason why there was an echo in the last episode was entirely as a result of the god that of me forgetting uh me forgetting to mute the wii u gamepad so you can really tell this is my first time play, uh to recording on the wii u if i forgot to do something as fundamental as that anyways we'll deal with you hey at least if i mess up the next time there's gonna be less of a run out the way no half hours to get ah oh, <laughs> god damn it well, let's do this again. Oh boy, another item tutorial. You got ammo. Good job. As much as I hate them right now, the pickups right now. To be honest, they are they are quite important for the old the old first playthrough. I will give them that. And to be honest, you can B skip through most of them. I just wish you could B skip through all of them. But sometimes they can drop in combat, I guess. Oh damn, I'm having my own little internal argument. Hmm, perhaps you should let me on that. God damn it, Navi! Yes! Haha! Third time's lucky. Now you should you could argue that I should have done it the first time, and you would be absolutely right. Anyways, let's do with this. I forget if I can jump attack this one. I'm pretty sure I can. Jump! Yeah! Good god, the camera. Not been enjoying this. Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm getting all the gold sculpture and stuff is because they're good, okay? Because I'm just like, fully expecting people who have watched this video have played Ocarina of Time before. I mean, unless you're doing like the old try before you buy thing of watching a Let's Player do it. Although I barely qualify as a Let's Player, so... I think Let's Players are supposed to be good at the games they play. But I am most certainly not. I forget. Do you have any good loot? Uh, no. 
Good God, it's been a while since I've played Ocarina of Time. Anyway, let's see with you. I could probably do it with another Deku Stick. Let's get it. Partly so I can idiot-proof myself so I don't need to backtrack in case I mess up and it burns up. Yeah! Let's do this! The reason I'm rolling is because you move marginally faster while rolling. Then again, I just said I'm assuming everyone I, I, wa I watch... Oh! Oh, I actually did get him! Excellent! Wow, they were really quick on the whole master thing. I guess that's the way they just roll sometimes. But oh well. Now the reason I have actually decided, you know what, fuck it, I want to play Ocarina of Time, was because recently I just finished re-watching my, uh, uh, the Versus channels, Ocarina of Time, uh, Versus. And to be honest, it is legitimately one of my favourite Let's Plays of all time. And it kind of got me, uh, kind of got me ready to get ready to go and play some good old OOT. That's short for us. Oh, shut up, Navi! God damn it! Every time, just let me be good. Yeah. Anyways, let's do this shit. Yes, I recommend people watching it. It is fun, but watch it after my one. I guess. But anyways. Come on. Well, oh, goddammit, I pressed the wrong R. <laughs> Whoops, I smashed my elbow against the radiator. Well, that's not fun. Ouchies. I can hear that through my headphones, so it must be pretty loud. All right, Mr. Skullchiller, let's do this shit. Then. God damn it, Navi! Please! <sighs> Get used to this. I'm not even going to narrate your voice, it'll just drain my throat. Although the James voice is fun. But I don't think anyone wants to hear me yell out the tutorial stuff. I don't think that's very fun for viewers. And to be honest, it won't be very all that fun for me either. Oh yeah, let's do this shit. Up we go. I would say, yeah, I'm making pretty good time on this bit, except for the fact I completely screwed up the jump three times over. Go me, I guess. There we go. Right, where's the lit one? There's the lit one. Oh god, I'm not used to activating items with the sticks. I'd much rather press buttons, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, this is fun though. I think everyone, I think everyone enjoys playing Ocarina of Time sometimes, unless you are like a uh, link to the past fanboy. I mean, I guess you could not like not like it then, but then why would you hate something because it's not linked to uh, not a different game? That just seems silly to me. Anyways, let's skip the enemies hanging on the ceiling and just go through this. Weird, I'm not used to how with the way this controller rumbles, but I think it's because back in the days of playing on the N64, I didn't have a rumble pack, and back in the days of on the, on the 3DS, doesn't rumble either. Because I think the DS did have a rumble pack, but I believe it only worked by using the GBA slot, so that's not going to work on the 3DS. Oh, I'm so excited to be playing this game again. Although it's weird, uh, I think it's because I have one of the older N64 ver um, versions where I had the Crescent Moon icon on most of the eyes, on most of the things. But I'm really looking forward to this uh, to this playthrough, even if I do hate the early game. But then again, every Zelda early game is bad. At least this one's short early game though. But. It's like with A Link Between Worlds. Oh, that wasn't my smartest hour. Uh, it's like The Link Between Worlds. The, the early game, the game doesn't really start until you hit the Dark World. Boom. 
23 is number one this ship. Done. <laughs> How did you know a secret? How irritating. It's so annoying. I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to the Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she stands. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. My god, never ever hire Decker Scrubs to seal security. I'll betray you in a heartbeat. Anyways. Boom. Let's get on with the boss. Now then, let's see. God, I love this thing. Wind Waker wishes it could be this ominous. Hey, look, the lighting's perfect. And, whoa, what was with the upward link's arm just then? That was weird. Anyway, let's go and see what it has to say. Now this is how you introduce a boss in as short time as you physically can. I mean, yeah, Goma completely sucks, but at least it looks like it's trying to kill you! I mean, holy shit, that's a monster! We should probably deal with that. Uh... Oh. Well, that's just me being rusty with the controller. I probably should have killed him that round just then. But still... Well, there we go. That worked out. Whew, sorry, I had to about the commentary there. I can't had to concentrate. Partly new controller and everything. I don't know if the GameCube controller works on the uh, Wii U Virtual Console. If you know the answer, feel free to comment. Because I'll, in the time it'll take to upload this, I'll probably forget to Google search it. But still, let's go pick up our spoils. Yeah. Ah, uh, I love. That was like the, uh, one of my favourite first boss fights ever. I love it. But, anyways, uh, because it's a fairly lengthy cutscene as soon as we leave, I feel like it is prudent to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you fine folks in the next one. Bye!